So we're going to look at MD2 and MD4, which are high signatures. And especially we'll have a look at how we can create a collision with inside these high signatures. OK, so the focus uh, for MD2 and MD4 is to produce a one-way hash, where it should be fairly easy to go one way, but not back again. OK, so typical signatures that we use are MD5 and SHA1. And what we have is that uh, we have uh, some data. We then apply the the MD2, MD4 signature, and it will produce our our hash signature either in hexadecimal or base64. Uh, both MD2 and MD5 are 128-bit signatures. So if we do the calculations for hex signatures, we should get 32 characters. MD4 has been used in Windows password storage where we can hash a password and it'll produce our, our storage. Uh, MD5 is used in uh, Cisco password generation. The weakness of it is that we can create what's called rainbow tables where we can hash a whole lot of common words into passwords, into passphrases, hash values, and then we can just basically link them up. Uh, to the to uh, to the hash signature. A problem that we have in MD2 and MD4 is the concept of a collision, where the same values, where the same hash signature can be produced for two different values. Okay, so let's have a look at this as an example. OK, so the, here's our hash generator. OK, so the first thing we should obviously do is, is to make sure that we're getting the right hash signatures. So there are pre-prepared hash signatures already created. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'll just check that. Now we can see here we should end up with 03D8. And that's what we end up with. So this shows MD2 and MD4, if we want to check for MD4. So a uh, null string, or an empty string for MD4 should give us 31D6. Okay, let's try that one. And it does, 31D6. We have a, a weakness with inside these hash uh, signatures. So with inside D, D, MD2, we can create two different data sets. So it's possible for us to input our data in hex strings. So for example, this we can define this as hex. So if we take this hex string here and we try it, we should get a signature of this. And we do, so it gives us 4D, 7E and so on. So we can see by changing these characters here, we will be able to produce the same hash signature and it is. Okay, so this is a particular weakness of MD2. We'll try again. So in this case, this hex string, so the hex is converted into a into a byte array, we'll get 6C. Okay, we can see that we've selected the hex input, so it's not taking it as a string. And then we'll then modify these characters again and we'll try it and we see it produces the same the same hash signature 
So in this case we can see that it's uh, compromised and we can check these values. Uh, these are the sample values that we can use and those were the hash signatures that we produced. Okay, so this is showing an overview of uh, MD2 and MD4.